Hi guys, this is Landon Beck. I'm um, just going to show you a few apps I use on the iPad for sounds for MIDI um, for live play. Uh, I do want to say that uh, some of these apps are only for iPad um, and uh, some will work on iPhone. I'll try my best to signify between the, the difference. I'm just I'm not going to show you everything I have and go into depth, but I'm just going to show you a few. Um, if you haven't seen how I do MIDI, um, I will link that uh, video in the description. Uh, watch that. If you have any comments or questions, comment below, um, and I'll do my best to get back to them. But this first app is called is probably my favorite app of all for sounds, especially for gospel music. Um, it was made by a gospel musician. They have great support. Just had support with them this week. They were really responsive. Um, it's called Pure Synth Platinum Two. I'm currently run, running version 2.4.3. Um, this has tons of sounds. Um, and each, you can layer four sounds at a time. Um, you can do all of these different, as you can see on the screen, um, all of these different uh, settings with each sound. From poly control, filter, and some of these things like filter, you can even do EQ and feedback, mod wheels. You can really change the dynamics of the sound doing sustain and decay and hold and all of that. Um, now my current uh, setup that I have right now is uh, something I created and, and it sounds like this. Pretty good sound uh, that's coming from an app. I don't have all my full gear set up so that it's a, the best of recording, but you can at least hear it. It's pretty good sound. Um, if I click the faders here, you can see that I have four sounds here and I can control the volumes, the gains, pan them left or right if I'm sending them to effects and we'll talk about it in just a second. But you know, I have uh, a grand piano, uh, piano, I have a uh, uh, Mark One suitcase electric piano and a couple of different pad sounds on right now. I love how you can mute, there's mutes and solos. So if you want to, depending on where you're at on the fly, and even what's even more cool about this is that they can be remembered. They can be MIDI controlled, so they can be learned. So if I hold down this fader, you'll see learn MIDI. So you can learn it. So if you have a, if you have uh, faders and knobs on your on your MIDI controller keyboard or your keyboard, or you have a MIDI mixer, you can learn. They can be learned, and so that you can use something else to mix it while you're not looking at the app because the sound still plays even though the app isn't open. Um, but this is pretty extensive. Again, it's my favorite. Uh, you can do uh, effects. Uh, they have a bunch of effects that you can put in there. Uh, reverbs, of course. Master effects. All kinds of things that you can add onto this. It, it's pretty sick. It's my again my favorite. Um, and the presets that they have on this thing is very comprehensive. Um, you can do acoustic pianos, electric grands, key, layered keys. These already have a bunch of layers. Organs, all of this. Uh, I do have, I think, a preset already made for an organ that I will show you and load. You can save your own presets. Um, and of course, uh, not bad. So, uh, very cool app. Um, that I like and that I use. I'm going to close this one down. I'm going to launch another one. And this one's called the Ravenscroft 275. Um, again, before you buy an app, I would encourage you to uh, to make sure that app is going to work for what you need because they can get expensive if you're just buying apps all over the place and then you don't even use them. Um, the app I just showed you is about 20 bucks. Um, of course, you can buy other expansion packs in it, um, but it's very good. This app's about twenty to thirty dollars. Sometimes it goes on sale or whatnot. This is a Ravenscroft acoustic piano. You can do some EQs and reverbs and velocity. This is my preset that I made, but it sounds pretty good as well. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's more straightforward. Um, it does have, uh, uh, like I said, a couple presets already built in, but you can create your own like I have here. But it's a very good grand piano type sound if that's what you're going for more. Um, I, um, another app that I use a lot 
is called uh, it's the Korg Module Pro. Now um, the first app that I showed you, the Pure Synth, is only for iPad. The uh, Ravenscroft app and this app is for iPad and iPhone, so you can use them for both. Um, the generic sounds that come with this app, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I would definitely buy uh, some of the packs. Um, I would do the performance and expansive pack, so you can do layers and a couple other things, and then. My go-to is the ivory, mo uh, uh, the ivory samples. I use the the mobile grand the most. Um, I believe that's what I do. Uh, I'll double check here for you, but uh, if I click my set list here, you can make set list, which is pretty neat if you have the extended version. Layers on it, um, and you can control the levels and all that stuff. But if I click this, I am using the yeah the Ivory AMD series. I'm not using the regular Ivory, so it's a little bit better. I feel like, um, but it sounds this is with a, a pad and the warm piano. Not bad. Here's kind of a EP with that warm piano. different tone to it um, but that's a good app that I use uh, I use a lot um, and a couple more apps real quick uh, this is called MK sensation this was kind of like my first app that I bought it's both for phone and uh, iPad it is made by a gospel musician which also made pure synth um, this is kind of a, a really cool app um, the sounds is not as big and as extensive as pure synth but it, it is a good kind of starter up. Um, I would definitely recommend doing a lot of EQ work on the board if you use this because the pianos can sound different. But uh, it has 12 sounds. All 12 can literally be on at the same time if your iPad can handle it. It does have chorus and reverb effects that you can add on. Um, you can have all 12 faders so you can mix them live. So it's very cool. Right now I have the dyno sound. <laughs> If I was to take that off, I can do like EP2. Uh, power Grand here. Not bad. Acoustic Piano. Mix them both together if you want. Throw in a pad. Again, sounds not bad. But, uh, uh, and, and it's only like 20 bucks for all 12 sounds. It's a great startup. I really like it. It's got a couple more piano sounds on there. Um, it really just depends on what kind of sound you like and on your board how you want to EQ it because there's not EQs built in here. On the, the synth, the pro synth one, pure, pure synth, I'm sorry, it has an EQ on there so you can do EQs and all that kind of stuff to kind of get the sound and tweak it exactly like you want it. This one's kind of like it is the way it is. One last one that's more uh, really fun for me is called Pocket Organ. Um, this is for phone and iPad. Uh, it has presets that you can buy, which if you, unless you are really wanting to tweak all the sounds and do your own sets, I recommend. But uh, it has faders, like draw bars. You can do the Leslie or not. It has some pretty cool functionalities. Um, if I switch to, let me see here, do a preset. So, it sounds pretty good. It's pretty hot. Another preset I like is, uh, let's see. pretty cool um sounds pretty good at organ app there's some other organ out apps out there that are you know a little bit more ex extensive but that one was a cheaper option at the time and it sounds pretty good um 
there are a couple other apps that I use from time to time, like BS-16i. It stands for Bismarck. Um, that and SoundFont Pro, you can kind of add sound font sounds, which can get kind of technical, but I don't use those as much. Uh, one app that I would totally recommend is called AUM. And this is an amazing app. You can record into it. You can go in from it into GarageBand. But the main aspect I love of this app is that it is an app mixer. So it's loading up right now. But basically what I have is I have all those apps I was just telling you about load up in here. And you can see I'm kind of loading in one by one each app. And I run them into a, a bus basically. Bus A which I make like a master fader here. But I can mix and use and switch between apps. I'm running all of the apps live. I can mute and solo them. So if there's like a particular sound, like four sounds I have on this pure synth app, I'll let go and then I'll use the dyno on the MK Sensation. I'll have acoustic piano or pads on the Cork Pro, I've got the Ravenscroft. So depending on what song I'm doing, I got the organ. I can kind of switch back for before back and forth. This you can buy an in-purchase app on this too, and so that every fader and everything can be memorized as well. By and so you can control, you know, via a mixer or whatnot. Very cool. You can add effects. Um, I, I bought some, a couple more things like EQ and compressing. So I can literally have all my apps running at once. Um, you can hear that. Um, it's coming in multiple apps. You see that multiple signals. I can solo. Sorry, my uh, video camera cut out on me there. Uh, but basically, what I'm saying is, I'm using this app and doing. It's called AUM. Uh, it's for the phone and iPad, and I'm mixing all my apps through this. Uh, all apps can be live at the same time and I can mix through them. I'm mixing, you know, Pure Synth, MK Sensation, Korg, uh, Pocket Organ, uh, Ravenscroft 275. I'm using all these apps and mixing them through there. Um, so it's a pretty cool app. Again, it's called AUM um, and it looks like that right here, basically. And uh, again, the apps I use is Pure Synth by Gospel Musicians. Pro Platinum. I use Ravenscroft 275, AUM, Pocket Organ, uh, Korg Module Pro, um, and MK Sensation. Those are the main ones I use. So if you have any questions, comments, whatever, uh, comment on this video um, and I'll be happy to answer. So thank you for watching.